top Mallorca towns and villages. Cala Rachada, Mallorca. Cala Rachada is a resort located on Mallorca's northeastern coast. It has a magnificent rocky shoreline that stretches around both sides of the Punta de Captapra Peninsula, and because it is the closest point on Mallorca to Menorca, it is possible to view Citadella on a clear day. Campos, Mallorca. Campos is a classic rural community in Mallorca's southeast. It's only 8 kilometers from the coast, sandwiched between Luce Major and saint -Denis. Campos is built of the local blonde stone and, while it remains a tranquil rural town, it serves as the administrative center for this part of the island, which is known for its extensive stretches of sandy beach and turquoise waters. Arta, Mallorca Arta is a charming town, located just a few kilometers inland from Mallorca's northeast coast. It is nestled in a valley, surrounded by the Levant Natural Parks mountains, and some of the island's most attractive agricultural plains. Sescovetes, Mallorca Sescovetes is a purpose-built small resort, on Mallorca's southeast coast, with just a number of eateries and some tourist housing. The community is modest and pleasant on its own. There are a few pubs and restaurants, but nothing really exciting happens here. The area appears to have been hit hard by the current economic downturn. Unfortunately, there are a number of half-finished developments along the beach. Sineu, Mallorca In central Mallorca, there is a traditional rural town. Sineu is a historic inland town, situated in the geographical center of Mallorca. On Wednesdays, the entire place comes alive, as its weekly market attracts a loyal following of market-goers. Sinu is an appealing place for visitors hoping to immerse themselves in Theriel Mallorca, or seek seclusion away from the touristy side of the island. Galilea, Mallorca In the southwestern slopes of Mallorca, there is a charming rural town. Located 460 meters above sea level, and in the shadow of the majestic peak of Puig de Galazzo, this charming community is nestled deep in the Tramuntana Mountains countryside. Because of its location, it feels rather isolated, making it ideal for anyone seeking peace and quiet, or wanting to explore the highlands. Valdemosa, Mallorca In the West Mallorca Highlands, there is a charming rural town. Valdemosa, a hamlet steeped in Old World charm, is nestled in a beautiful valley in the Tromuntana Mountains. The surrounding green woodlands of olive, oak, and almond trees, as well as the blue sky above, contrast sharply with the antique blonde stone homes. Palma Bay, Mallorca From Playa de Palma to Magaluf, as well as Palma de Mallorca's main city. Along a 25-kilometer stretch of coastline, the good, the terrible, and the ugly of Mallorca's tourist development collide. Tacky resorts coexist beside opulent retreats, as though everyone wants a piece of Palma Bay. You may be at Portals New, with its posh port crowded with billionaires' yachts, and then in grungy Magaluf, with its British pubs and wet t-shirt competitions, in the blink of an eye. Bañalbufa, Mallorca in the west of Mallorca, there is a lovely coastal hamlet. Banyal Bufar is one of Mallorca's last authentically preserved seaside towns. On the edge of the Serra de Tromuntana mountain range, it clings to the island's western coast on a steep hillside. Most visitors come to Banyal Bufar to see one thing, the historic terraced hillsides fall into the sea. But there are also breathtaking vistas of the Tramuntana Mountains, and spectacular sunsets. Portichol, Palma de Mallorca Portixol and Malina are two fashionable Palma suburbs. Portixol and Malina, two old fishing villages on the outskirts of Palma, have seen a revival in recent years, as have many other neighborhoods on the outskirts of Palma. They've gone from sleepy fishing villages to some of the most fashionable districts in Mallorca's southwest. A lengthy stretch of beach, a lovely promenade, and a boho ambience are among its key draws. 
That's before we even get into the fantastic array of restaurants, bars, and hotels that the neighborhood has to offer. Cala Mayor, Mallorca. In the east of Mallorca, there is a holiday beach resort. Cala Mayor, a purpose-built holiday resort, on Mallorca's east coast, is a popular family vacation spot. Its main draw is a stretch of fine sand beaches, bordered by turquoise shallow waters, a promenade lined with hotels behind them. Port de Pollenca, Puerto Pollensa, Mallorca. Puerto Pollensa, often known as Puerto Pollensa, is a well-known, family-friendly tourism destination in Mallorca's northwestern region. The resort was once a fishing community, serving the local area, like many other Mallorcan coastal villages. It still has a huge marina, which now accommodates more recreational boats than fishing boats, although there are still numerous traditional lords, used by Malacans to catch fish. Calador, Mallorca In the east of Mallorca, there is a holiday beach resort. Calador, or Golden Bay, is the English name for a popular, family-friendly tourist resort, on the island's east coast. Its name may refer to the fact, that it has the most sunny hours on the eastern coast, as it is the furthest away from the disruptive Serra de Tramontana mountains, and is close to some of the best beaches. Puerto Alcudia, Puerto de Alcudia, Mallorca The most popular destination, for family beach vacations on Mallorca. The Bay of Alcudia, is located on Mallorca's north coast, and features turquoise shallow waters, and long soft golden sandy beaches. As a result, it's no surprise that Mallorca's largest beach resort is located here. A stretch of apartment towers and resort-style hotels, runs from Port del Cudia in the west, to can pick a fort 10 kilometers down the coast, offering everything from economical self-catering, to elegant five-star accommodation. Alcudia, Mallorca In the northeast of Mallorca, there is a medieval walled town. In the north, the medieval town of Alcudia, is the island's most important tourist destination. It is located on a peninsula that separates the bays of Polenza and Altia, and has a lovely medieval center, as well as a genuine local vibe that attracts visitors all year. Alcudia, is a beautifully reconstructed walled city, built on the ruins of a Roman colony, complete with old dwellings and a theater. As part of Mallorca's new tourism image, the maze of narrow lanes surrounded by medieval battlements, has been meticulously rebuilt. Cala Figuera, Mallorca Traditional fishing town, in Mallorca's southeast. Cala Figuera, more than anywhere else on Mallorca, retains the feel of a real fishing port. Fishermen sit on the steps, repairing nets, while white painted buildings reach down to the water's edge. You might even witness the catch come in, if you arrive early enough in the morning. A trail winds its way around the tiny harbor, and up onto the cliffs, providing excellent views of the bay. Portol, Mallorca In central Mallorca, there is a traditional rural town. Between Parma and Santa Maria del Cami, the neighboring towns of Portol and Sacabanata have become something of an artist's colony. However, unlike Deir and Banyal Bufar, the artists are Mallorcan potters, who take advantage of the rich native soil. The sole reason to visit is to shop at the Olerias, workshops, which are far cheaper than the tourist shops. Ses Salines, Mallorca Ses Salines is a small town, in Mallorca's southeast. Because of its location on fertile soil, it and its related port, Colonia St. Jordi, have a long and illustrious history. There are salt mines, that date back to the Roman era. Gourmet-flavored salts, are created for export, and the salt produced here, has become a substantial industry for the area. Traditional methods, are used to extract the sea salt in August. Porto Petro, Mallorca On Mallorca's southeast coast, there is a charming fishing town. Porto Petro, sometimes known as Porto Petro, is located in the Santini neighborhood. 
This fishing community has retained much of its traditional beauty, with most of its buildings being attractive, colorful cottages, with typical Mallorcan shutters, which were built in the early 20th century. In Porto Petro, the seafront is the place to be. It has a small harbor, with yachts and fishing boats, as well as the real club Nautic de Porto Petro, and is the starting point for several boat cruises in the area. There are also a number of classic cafes and seafood eateries strewn across the area. Porto Cristo, Mallorca. Porto Cristo, sometimes known as Porto Cristo, is a small, scenic fishing village on Mallorca's east coast. It has carved out a role as a laid-back family-friendly resort, taking use of its wonderful location, at the end of a long sheltered bay, with a blue flag sandy beach, and stunning turquoise waters. Inca, Mallorca In central Mallorca, there is a commercial town with a weekly market. Inca is located midway, between Palma and Alcudia, on the island's main highway, near the island's center and at the foot of the Serra de Tramontana mountain range. Inca is Mallorca's third largest city and is renowned as the city of leather due to its long history of leather production which continues today. The town is steeped in history and boasts some magnificent architecture although not being as picturesque as some of the other towns on the island. One of its primary tourist attractions is the local market which takes place every Thursday. Otherwise, it is a tranquil local village. There are also numerous boutique and high street fashion stores, cafes, and a handful of well-known cellier restaurants, ancient wine cellars converted into restaurants to visit. Petra, Mallorca. Petra is a small rural village in the center of Mallorca, surrounded by agricultural terrain. Petra is well known for being the birthplace of Fray Junipero Serra, a missionary who is credited with founding California, according to some. Petra is also notable for its sandstone, which has been used to build many of Mallorca's villages. Fornaluch, Mallorca In West Mallorca, there is a lovely rural village. Fornaluch, located at the top of the Sierra Valley, and deep within the Serra de Tramuntana Mountains, claims to be Spain's most beautiful village, and it's difficult to disagree. Fornalut, a delightful tiny village, has a magical air to it. So much so that the promotion of tourism of Mallorca, gave it the silver plate, for protection and conservation of the town in 1983. If you're not staying here, it's worth spending a couple of hours walking up and down the stone steps, exploring the delightful alleyways, lined with potted plants, and seeing the lovely citrus trees. Puerto Portals, Mallorca Mallorca's chic marina resort is located on the island's southwest coast. Puerto Portals is commonly regarded as the island's most opulent marina. It has become a popular spot for the rich and famous to berth their boats, with over 600 vessels, up to 60 meters in length presently moored there. Unlike many other ports on the island, this one is bustling all year. It's the place to go for designer shopping, people watching, and fine dining and drinking. Santa Ponsa, Mallorca In the southwest of Mallorca, there is a holiday beach resort. Santa Ponsa is a holiday town in the southwest of Mallorca, located in a magnificent sheltered cove. It's surprising that it has managed to dodge the high rises found in some of the resorts along Mallorca's coastline after being popular with the British for more than 40 years. The harbor has a beautiful mountain backdrop, and the region is littered with well-built homes and apartment buildings. Santa Maria del Cami, Mallorca Santa Maria del Cami, located north of Palma, is a charming tiny market town. It is located immediately off the highway, leading north to Alcudia and Polenza. The charming village of Santa Maria del Cami, also known as simply Santa Maria, is located in Mallorca's middle flat plain, in one of the island's most important wine-growing zones. 
It is located on the edge of the Serra da Tramuntana, and has one of the most beautiful mountain backdrops, surrounded by olive, almond, and carob trees, as well as an increasing number of vineyards. Port de Soller, Mallorca Port de Soller, is a charming tiny village on Mallorca's west coast, nestled in a huge horseshoe harbour. Until recently, the beachfront refuge was one of the island's best-kept secrets. Its remote location, at the foot of the Serra de Tramuntana, made it difficult to reach, before the Sillet Tunnel opened in the 1990s. As a result, unlike many other beach attractions on the island, that were overdeveloped in the 1970s and 1980s, Port de Sillet, escaped this period untouched. The original charm has been preserved, and it has contributed to the development, of a more refined holiday resort. Port de Sillet surrounded by the Tramuntana Mountains, is one of the few cities on the island, that can boast both stunning mountain beauty, and breathtaking sea vistas. It also has some of the nicest sunsets on the island, due to its location on the west coast. Port d'Andrax, Mallorca Port d'Andrax, a lovely fishing village and one of Mallorca's classiest holiday resorts, is located on the island's southwestern tip. It has a working fishing business, that supplies many of the port's restaurants, and it is popular with the yachting fraternity, and movie stars, whose Italian-style villas, can be seen ascending up the hillsides. Colonia de Sant Jordi, Mallorca Beach Resort, in the southeast of Mallorca, boasting some of the island's most beautiful beaches. Colonia de Sant Jordi, is a tiny lively resort town, on Mallorca's southeast coast, near the well-known Estrenc Beach. Colonia de San Jordi, also known as Port de Campos, after Campos, the largest town in the Ses Salines region, was previously a modest fishing port, but the magnificent beaches, along its coastline have helped tourism flourish, in recent years. This area of the island, is well known for its salt extraction, and the famous Estrenc Beach, a postcard-worthy length of sand with almost white dunes, and shallow blue waters. El Toro, Port Adriano Port Adriano is a luxury marina, located on Mallorca's southwest coast. It debuted in 2012, and is now one of the most sophisticated marinas, in the Mediterranean, designed by French architect, Philippe Stark. Unlike most other ports on Mallorca, this one is more of a contemporary commercial center and marina, than a town or resort. Its architecture accommodates ships up to 100 meters in length, making it one of the few marinas on the island, that can accommodate some of the world's largest yachts. It should come as no surprise, that the port's renovation, was planned with financial considerations in mind. It took a few years for the quayside to fill up, but it now has more than 50 high-end restaurants, bars, and designer boutiques to cater to the yachting community. Cala Rachada, Mallorca Cala Rachada, is a resort located on Mallorca's northeastern coast. It has a magnificent rocky shoreline, that stretches around both sides, of the Punta de Captura Peninsula, and because it is the closest point on Mallorca to Menorca, it is possible to view Chatadella on a clear day. The waterfront and surrounding area, which is an old fishing port, have a deep-rooted appeal. In the summer, the restaurants, bars, and other amenities, around the port and along the promenade, that runs from Playa San Mol to Carla Gat, become a hive of activity. Carla Rajada, is a popular summer vacation destination for German families, thanks to its superb golden sand beaches, and charming coves. Apart from a few regular locals, and a couple of bars open on the promenade, it basically shuts down in the winter. Yugmayo, Mallorca Luz Major, is an inland village in the south of Mallorca, situated beneath the Randa Hills, the lowlands. The town itself is of average size, but the area around it, known as Luz Major, is the island's largest municipality, consisting of 16 settlements including Cala Blava. Calabai, and the well-known, tourist resort of Saranal. Peguera, Mallorca Pegara, 
is a small beach resort, in the island's southwest corner, near Androj. It boasts lovely blue flag beaches, as well as a diverse assortment of hotels, and restaurants to suit all budgets. Because many of the hotels, are on a slope above the beach, it may not be the most appealing option, for individuals with mobility issues. There is a great lively scene in the summer, but many of the hotels and restaurants are seasonal, so Pegara is quiet in the winter. The few guests who do come to town in the winter, will see the town in an entirely different light. Magaluf, Mallorca In the southwest of Mallorca, there is a holiday beach resort. Magaluf, is arguably one of Europe's most well-known, beach resorts. Efforts and huge investments, have been made in recent decades to change the city's image, from a cheap and cheery party town, to a more upscale one. Magaluf, is located on Mallorca's southwest coast, about a 25-minute drive from Palma San Sant Joan, International Airport, and 15 minutes from the city center. A headland, separates it from the neighboring resort of Palma Nova, although, you can easily walk between the two in 10 minutes. Felanet, Mallorca Felanet, is a small town in Mallorca's southeast corner. It is the administrative center for the region, and is located inland from its closest seaport, Porto Colom. Fulanit, is the capital of Pla and Levant, Mallorca's second wine-growing region, which produces a wide range of white wine, and fresh red wines. It's surrounded by beautiful scenery, with the Sanctuary San Salvador, and Castle Sanctuary nearby, both of which are positioned on top of hills, with spectacular views, of Mallorca and the sea. Capers, often known as green pearls, are a specialty of the area. They're available for purchase, at the Sunday morning market, which spills out into the streets around St. Miguel Church, with local ceramics on show on the church steps. Poyenca, Mallorca Mallorca's attractive rural town, located in the island's northwestern corner. The historic rural village of Polenza, is nestled between two hills, at the eastern extremity of the Serra de Tramuntana. Polenka, with ancient blonde stone buildings, is unlike many other towns, that have succumbed to tourism. Polenza has learned to embrace, and adapt to tourism without losing its spirit, despite the fact that tourists have long been drawn here. Portals Nu, Mallorca Portals Nu is a small town 10 kilometers west of Palma de Mallorca. If you want to spend time at Puerto Portal's luxury marina, this is the place to stay. Above the marina, Portal Nu is a beautiful little village, with a limited range of shops, cafes, and restaurants. Its appeal stems from its lovely beaches, local amenities, and close access to both Puerto Portals and Palma. Villa Franca de Bonani, Mallorca Vila Franca de Bonani, is a small rural town located on the road connecting Parma, and Manacor. You can't help but notice the strings of vegetables, hanging outside numerous of the stores, as you drive through this small town, peppers, aubergines, garlic, and, above all, tomatoes. These are the well-known tomatiques de ramalet, which are sold on their stalks, and used to scatter over Par Ampoli. Porto Colom, Mallorca this fishing community, which was previously the harbor for Philanet, was named after Christopher Columbus, who is supposed to have been born here, despite the lack of evidence. Set inside a deep natural harbor, and popular with Mallorcan and Spanish visitors, Portocolum retains the sense of a tiny fishing port, with boats along the quay and pastel-colored cottages lining the waterfront, each with its own landing stage. Vinisalem, Mallorca in central Mallorca, there is a traditional rural village and a wine-growing region. Binasalem, is a name you're likely to recognize, if you're familiar with Mallorcan wine. This little hamlet, in central Mallorca, is particularly well known for its winemaking. Wine lovers should make it a point, to stop by on a trip to the island, as it is surrounded, by some of the island's best vineyards and bodegas. <laughs>